like to welcome you to another edition of Bridging Heaven and Earth. Uh, if you have headphones that you can plug into your TV, tonight's the night to do it. Uh, we've done, I guess this is the third season of shows, and actually our first show was our guest tonight again. And uh, this man is a, is, a, is a magician with music. And if you could plug in headphones to the set, this is going to be concert night here at Bridging Heaven and Earth. And Michael Hammer is going to play some incredible music that is music for really for meditation, for growth, for ascension, and for love. So we're really excited about tonight's show, and there's going to be just wonderful music coming across. So really, if there's any way for you to really plug into it and just really sit down and listen, do it tonight. So as we usually do at this time, Wistancia leads us in an invocation and a meditation. Uh, Wistancia? Thank you. So just take a breath with me now and bring your energy down into the center of the earth and also bring your energy up into the heavens, into your own I am presence and into all the realms of the archangels and the ascended masters as we call forth to Father, Mother, God this night and to our I am presence and we call forth to the entire planetary hierarchy and cosmic hierarchy and ask that they be with us and join with us in this celebration of music, the celebration of the bliss of sound representing the vibration of life throughout the, the sky, throughout the earth, throughout all the earths and all the skies. And we call forth tonight to the king of the archangels, to Metatron, and we ask you, Metatron, to please anchor the 72 names of Metatron into our consciousness. And also we ask that you anchor into this studio, into our consciousness, into the homes of those listening, your ascension chamber so that we can resonate and be lifted by your wondrous emanations and electrical blessings as you help us to bring our vibrations and energies up to help us in our ascension and in our enlightenment and our spiritual evolution. We call forth to Archangel Michael and all of the Archangels to join with us tonight, also calling forth to Archangel Yahoel to be with us present as he is already here and just maybe we can just really soak in the energy of the reservoir that we sit in, of our light bodies, of all of our bodies, asking to open the heart, calling forth to Lord Sananda to bless us and help us to open our heart and let all of the love of ourselves and of all the worlds and of the masters and of God pour in now. So maybe you can just close your eyes with me and go deeply inside and just ask to be reborn this night into a higher aspect of your own beautiful divine self. So tonight is really a fulfillment because, Michael, the, the music that you've heard on all of our shows in the background, and now we have Michael here as a gift and as a blessing to bless us with the music that he creates on the spot with the help of the archangels and of his higher self who is an archangel. And so maybe we can just begin to prepare to, to listen to him completely now and just take yourselves, allow yourselves to go into a meditative state, just into a, a state of graceful listening and prepare to just have an outrageous and awesome experience as I introduce to you now Michael Hammer, Yahoel.
welcome back. And that was quite a journey. <laughs> anyway, um, Michael, <laughs> thank you so much for being here. I'm just, uh, I'm, I feel so much peace right now. Do, you know, it's just like amazing peace that happens with this music. And, and maybe, maybe you could just talk a little bit about the music, like what it, what what music means to you almost like what is your feeling about music and your life this music well when i play in, in 22 seconds <laughs> <laughs> um when i play music i go someplace um that's indescribable to me and it's um i lose all sense of myself in fact, if someone would ask me a question, I have difficulty answering in words because it, it's somewhere outside of verbal or mental mm -hmm. capacity. And um, I really, when I sit down to play, like I did right now, mm -hmm. I had no idea what I was going to play. Um, even the sounds at the last second, I started switching them. And, um, I, just tuning into the energy and it, it shifts it, it could just shift in a few seconds and I have to shift the sounds. And sometimes I'm locked into the right sounds and it works beautifully. So are you saying that you, don't, you never play the same thing twice? Like everything no. is, is truly just created? It's all like in the moment. Like you could never duplicate? No, never. It's all in the moment. That is so amazing. What yeah. are you doing when you're when you're doing all those buttons, what are, what are, what are you doing? Like, what, do you, are you not, you're not thinking? Is it just like an automatic no, kind of, um, what is it? Inside myself, I'm holding many tracks. So uh, one time I started counting how many different aspects of tracks I'm holding, and it was like 200. And a track would have to do with, one might be just um, the volume, and that would be keeping a, eye on the keyboards and what settings I'm using, mm -hmm. what sounds. Another is the blending of the sounds, some is the harmony. Um, it goes on and on. And, and light, a contrast, sometimes the sound is loud, sometimes it's soft. And it's just an inner knowing of when to, to shift it, to create and beauty. And actually you have three keyboards tonight, but a lot of times you play with five or yes. more, right? Yeah. So then you even have more tracks going yes. in a way. And then, usually after I play like what I did now, I would, um, it would be recorded and I rewind it immediately and play it again and this time I'd add a whole nother set of tracks to it. So it would get complete. Can you back up a little bit and just talk like how, go back in your childhood and maybe just talk a little bit about when you discovered music or your you know, mm -hmm. your gift or... Well, my first experience was, uh, my first memory was probably age three yeah. or two, maybe three or two. I would sing harmonies with myself and I, you know, I kind of thought it was strange I could sing three-part harmonies with myself. Mm -hmm. And then it wasn't until I was about 30 years old, um, a group of monks came into Santa Cruz and, uh, they practice a chanting which produces overtones of harmonies and which takes many, many years to accomplish. And I was doing that as a little, little kid. You were doing it under the covers. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, did you think that all children could do that? Well, I didn't think anything of it at yeah. first. And then as I got older, I thought, this is strange. It should, is one voice. There should be one voice. So in some ways, what you're saying is that you didn't actually go onto a spiritual path and decide to do a meditation, that somehow you had a, a connection, like just always. Yeah. Connection always with, high, with the higher realms and gifts that you didn't even know where they came from. Yeah, but there were times when I doubted my, my gifts. I didn't consider them gifts. I considered it a weird thing. Mm -hmm. I would play where, when no one would hear me because I was afraid if someone heard me they would judge me as being weird music. And I uh, 
was well into my mid-twenties before I ever allowed anyone to even hear myself because really? I was ashamed of what I was playing, but I got so high by myself that I just continued. I'd lock myself in a room, uh, go into a church at night and just play <laughs> with no one there. <laughs> you know, when I listen to your music, it, sometimes it, I feel like I can hear the angels speaking. Like It's almost like, I guess that's the overtones you're talking about. Like, like, it almost feels like a voice. Like There's a certain part that feels like their breath. You know, that, that sort of breathy kind of feeling that comes in. And it feels like they really are, are mm -hmm. present. When, when did you connect what you were doing with the angelic realm and, and then Yahweh? Well, it, it started with a realization that I was, um, <clears throat> I had a channeling by Bob Thickus, and um, he changed my whole life because I suddenly had a memory while he was channeling of who I was in the higher realms, and that was an, an angel. Right. And, and then I realized that I, that's what I was bringing through, and then I was um, comfortable with it. So. He also told you, I know this because actually he was our guest last, last week or two weeks ago, and, and uh, he said that this is your, actually your first earth life. Yes. So, <laughs> so that, that's a very unique thing in itself, that this would be your first earth life and that you'd be, you're literally bridging heaven and earth. I mean, like straight from... Yeah, <laughs> many of my, um, my thought forms are not from this earth, and the music itself, uh, uh, the chords and the structure of it is not from any training I've had here. And so I... She never really studied the piano? Or no, that. I didn't. Um, I studied a little viola when I was younger, but I really have very little keyboard training. But when the first synthesizer came out, I played it at a music store, and I went into Bliss, and I realized this is it. And as the technology evolved, I was able to create more of what I was always hearing. And I was trying to achieve that on the piano as a little, you know, when I was younger. It just wasn't made for that. Really. No, I was playing it like a synthesizer. Mm -hmm. And that was what was weird about it. Right. I'd go inside the piano, open it up and pluck the strings and put the footstop on and chant inside it. I'd stretch it to do all kinds of things. Ordinary child. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was very dedicated. I'd come yeah. back from school, I'd spend at least an hour every day yeah. singing inside the piano. Because when you sing inside a piano, you create. People might have thought you were weird on the most. You could create. <laughs> the guy's yeah. got his head inside the piano yeah. again. Holy <laughs> crap. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. It, you could sing a whole three or four notes and it'll just sing it back to you. You could create wonderful sounds in a piano. Like that. So the feedback, you know, that all the groups, I mean, I understand you've actually created 700 different tapes because they can't be the same. They're, they're always different. Well, seven, the, uh, the music's used as background right, on 700 tapes. Right, on seven, yes. 700 tapes. Yeah. And the feedback is that, that the vibrations that you mm -hmm. tune into, you know, are vibrations that other people can ride, you know, and literally mm -hmm. go into higher, into higher states. Yeah. Um, Many, um, most of, a lot of meditation teachers really like to use my music and um, teachers of light body because I have music that puts out the frequencies that I use for traveling in the light body and uh, different like ascension frequencies and um, many times I create music when there's a channel there, channeling particular frequency of a dimension or place or something to explore, and I hook into that. You know, this morning mm. I was, I was uh, talking to Sananda about this night, mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and he, the way he described it was, he said it, it's the vibration, music is actually all vibration, and he said, what, what you're actually doing is, is presenting God in motion. Yes. I thought that was really beautiful because it, it is that you know it really does take you inside and that's where that's where that's where it is that's where God is inside of us in yeah. our heart yes it's so it's really profound that's probably why it means so much to me to have you here 
mm. playing live and creating something that can you know never be duplicated. Yeah, that is probably <laughs> the purpose of why why I create music is um, to explore and um, reawaken the memory of different dimensions of vibration. Um, I. I seem to have been encoded with those vibrations and can recreate them through sound. That's a true gift and it's a real mm. healing because, you know, healing really is healing the separation between mm. man and God and that's... Yeah. I'd, I'd rather heal that than any, any part of my body, like just heal whatever feelings of separation mm. that I might still have left yeah. in that way. I have an incredible library at home of uh, different channels who channel different frequencies of a different dimension and, and the recording of it in music was a way of preserving those uh, certain states of consciousness that if someone listened to it they can have an experience of that. Well, it is really yeah. a gift <laughs> <laughs> and a blessing to this earth to have ones like you who, who pour th these vibrations out so that so many people can kind of connect them in. Yeah. When Beautiful. I think they've been showing on the camera, you have a lot of tapes and CDs that are like, I, mean, I always give a number, it's like, <laughs> no, not that number. <laughs> give a, for instance, how many tapes and CDs you have out that are just music, not behind the channel or something? I have uh, 21 CDs and four of them are and they're like international. I mean, they're all oh, over yeah. the world. And yeah. You were telling me, uh, Michael's staying at my house now, and he was telling me that actually his sales are greater overseas for some reason now at this point. It's unexplainable. Yeah. I don't advertise there, but somehow it's really getting out. Uh -huh. The beauty of music is that there's yeah, no that's barrier to language. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. That's really amazing. So, I, do you see concerts coming up? And oh yes, tomorrow. Actually. Yeah, <laughs> tomorrow I'm playing tomorrow. at East West Bookshop in yeah. Mountain View. And uh, has there been any thought of like you know like bigger venues and you know? But well, I know you played at the uh, the New Year celebration in Wisconsin, <laughs> uh, Channel, but or did a. That was such an honor, really, to to, um, to uh, create an. Undo. I mean, I, I'm really hooked on the fact that, like, it's it, they're not songs, you know, because you can never just play them again. And you you have to buy the CD, them. you know. <laughs> so, you know, they're just like one of a kind. They're like it's like you know, designer music, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> designed by the angels. Yeah, I like to design it for the moment, whatever the vibration is at the moment. Yeah. That to me is the challenge. Um, a lot of people play music and think it out and write it out, right. and that's beautiful too. But um, what I'm trying to do is cr be present in the moment and have the music reflect the moment and whatever is in that moment, you know. If someone is channeling a particular vibration or I like to, my music should accommodate that. Right, right. Yeah, facilitate that passage to what that, yeah, that's very beautiful. So I think uh, we're really fortunate again to have uh, Michael's going to play some more. Uh, so I'm excited about that. <laughs> so this is going to be a Michael Hammer concert. Really? Night. So I was going to ask you, how, how, what was your experience of that New Year's Eve thing? I know a lot of people called have seen, you know, have seen the last few shows where we talked about it. I felt, I felt like I was in heaven. My experience was just really heavenly, and to be, to be really perfectly honest with you, I feel well, like be perfectly honest I'll be with perfectly the honest. You know, <laughs> with the I entire feel listening like audience, I something switched, something, some level, sub level, or some, some something in my consciousness like got turned on that night, and I haven't been the same since. You know, and I mean, I know this happens a lot of times, and we're always, all of us are always ascending and spiraling up in our consciousness and, and taking bringing in a higher part of ourselves I know it happens all the time but that night it, it was a it was a big one <laughs> it was a big one for me and I, it was recognizable and it hasn't it hasn't even slipped you know and I just feel like it was um, it was just an honor to be there and to, to bring in the new year 
with such devotion and such love and such honoring of the masters in heaven and you know the masters on the earth and and the earth mother and the, you know just all the so many so many masters were acknowledged and and were present and seen by by the people in the audience who happened to be clairvoyant but even if they even if we weren't you know they could be felt and just that just you know that's my life that i just feel like now i just want to go really thrust forward you know just like i just want to keep doing things like that you know mm -hmm. just like i'm i'm ready i, I volunteer <laughs> <laughs> what did you feel? I thought it was an incredible night. Yeah. I really had a beautiful experience. Yeah, I was... Uh, yeah, for me, I mean, I didn't really want to participate in the thing itself. I just wanted to go and just to soak it in. And uh, yeah, I was uh, really, really felt taken and had a beautiful experience. It was great. It was a beautiful night. Yeah. yeah it was a good way to bring in the new year. You know, I, I realized this night when I was leaving that um, the house to come here, that, you know, I have two animals, and I, I always play Michael Hammer music for them when I leave, so they mm -hmm. have like three hours mm -hmm. of, uh, I think he's ready, you know. Okay, so Michael right. is ready to do another segment, so really, just enjoy.
Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I, I'm kind of speechless, actually. <laughs> um, just blessings to everyone. Have a blessed, amazing year. Have the year of your life. If anyone is interested in Michael Hammer, where he's playing his tapes, his cons, you know, where his concerts will be, how you could reach him, call me at 805-687-2053. I hope you had the experience that everyone here had. God bless you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you.